So um, DFID have been investing in a, a program called the Multi-Stakeholder Forestry Program, which is in its third phase right now. Um, and the point of the program is to support Indonesia to be able to uh, operate the SVL car um, licensing scheme, which has ultimately enabled them to get their, uh, be awarded their FLEGT license. So it's about um, building the capacity of SMEs to be able to meet the standards to also um, fund the auditing um, of, the, of that scheme and to roll it out to as many people as possible. It's important because it allows SMEs access to international markets, um, in the first instance the EU market. So the, uh, the FLEGT licence and the SVO car um, basically is the standard for everybody that needs to be met in order to enter those markets. So in order for SMEs to be able to um, grow their businesses and to export, they need to have met that um, very high standard and obviously it makes sense to provide support to do that. Um, I don't think it's easy and I don't think it should be because um, it, the, the, the strength of the SVL car model um, is that the standard is an internationally recognised one and it's a high one. Uh, so it has been, I think, tricky for SMEs to actually get the licence, but the programme that we have been provided has been ha to help businesses to get that. Um, and I think uh, there are different, there are different um, conditions for the standard for um, SMEs versus big companies. So for a larger company, the, um, the uh, licence lasts for three years, whereas for an SME, it lasts for six years. So they don't feel that burden, um, constant burden of, of having to constantly reapply. Um, they, they have uh, six years and they are surveyed every two years, and that kind of audit's done every two years to make sure that they're meeting those standards.